There are a lot of experts out there who claim that CBD is non-psychoactive and has no effect upon the brain. Well, I'm not only going to tell you, but I'm going to show you why these two statements are false. It's time that you learn the truth. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Barry, and I'm here to set the record straight with regards to CBD's effect upon the brain. So let's take a closer look at some of the most recent research in order to shed some light on the mechanism of how CBD affects the principal cannabinoid receptor that is located within the brain known as the CB1 receptor. Now this is a major discovery that gives further insight into how CBD has been shown to have an effect upon the symptoms of conditions such as epilepsy, depression, and neurologic disorders. Now I'll also be explaining the different psychoactive effects produced by the two most commonly studied cannabinoids. Now, if you're like most people, you'll actually recognize these more as THC and CBD, properly termed tetrahydrocannabinol and cannabidiol. Now let's compare with THC to CBD. Now CBD shows more defined anticonvulsant profile in animal models and is largely devoid of adverse intoxicating or psychotropic effects. However, THC plays a major role in the entourage effect when combined in trace amounts with the other cannabinoids, which can all be found naturally in the hemp variety of cannabis. The interest in cannabis-based products for the treatment of refractory or unmanageable epilepsy has skyrocketed in recent years as it relates primarily to CBD and its ability to treat this difficult condition in children as well as adults. But let's not get caught lumping CBD into just one category as it possesses many different therapeutic applications. Now, there are resources that offer medicinal cannabis products that with varying ratios of CBD to THC, with the main focus being that of CBD, not only for its therapeutic effect on the body, but also that it counteracts some of the psychological or psychotropic effects that are caused by THC. Now, this new discovery shows how CBD can act in the form of an antidote for some of the potentially undesirable psychological effects of extremely high doses of THC. Initial theory pointed to the fact that CBD does not affect cannabinoid receptors of the brain. However, this latest research out of Canada shows that CBD is a negative allosteric modulator of the cannabinoid receptor 1, which is known as CB1. Now, This is the same receptor that's found within the central nervous system that is responsible for THC's intoxicating or psychotropic high. So, what I'm actually saying is that CBD is able to bind to the CB1 receptor, contrary to previous scientific thought, at a different location than where THC does. Now when THC binds to that CB1 receptor on the outside of the neuron, the receptor relays certain instructional signals to the inside of the cell. Now, if CBD binds to the CB1 receptor also at that same location that THC does, the neuron receives a diminished or a dampened signal. Now, the two substances in combination, THC and CBD, act synergistically at that CB1 receptor, creating an obvious effect that is distinct from just having it affect by just THC alone. Scientists have already suspected that CBD must in some way act upon that CB1 receptor, which infringes upon THC's action at that same location. Now, in addition to its interaction with that receptor, the CB1 receptor, CBD's other medicinal effects stem from completely separate pathways, as in the cannabinoid receptor 2, or CB2, such as the mu and delta opioid receptors. Now, taken on its own, CBD has a sedative, anxiolytic, and antidepressant effects upon the brain, but 
does not create that overly psychotropic high that THC will alone. Now, this new discovery represents another important step forward in understanding the effects of both CBD and THC upon the brain. Now, further research like this will aid doctors and caregivers in choosing the best protocol for patients in different situations and needs. So, contrary to popular and previous scientific beliefs, these studies have shown that CBD does have an effect upon the central nervous system's CB1 receptor. Now, this simply opens the door for further investigation into the many potential effects CBD truly has upon the brain, as well as the rest of the nervous system.